So I'm gonna start off with a face mask. Uh, Saints Pro just sent me a bunch of their bee venom uh, skincare stuff. So I thought I'd test some of it out today. Full disclosure, this video is in collaboration with Saints Co, but their stuff sounds really good, so I really want to try it. And everything is available from their website, which I'll have linked in the description box. So this is the Bee Venom Biocellulist Face Mask. So Biocellulist is a face mask technology that helps the product get absorbed into your skin. So this mask is supposed to tighten and lift the skin as well as help regenerate collagen and replenish and lock in essential moisture. So let's give this a go. So I've already cleansed my face and I've got nothing on it. Okay, so this mask has got three layers to it. So we wanna take off one side. I'm just gonna plop this on. And then we'll take off the other side. <laughs> Do I look beautiful, guys? <laughs> ah, I'm just gonna smooth that down. This is suitable for all skin types, but it does contain like bee venom. So if you are sensitive to bee venom or are allergic to bees, don't use this. <laughs> now we just wanna leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, I don't have a watch on, but it's been 15 minutes, so I'm gonna take this off. And we just wanna massage in any product that's left on our skin. And now we're left with soft, glowing skin. That was really nice, I really like that. Next up, I'm gonna use the Saints Co. Bee Venom and Stem Cell Super Protein Essence with 24 karat gold. So this is gonna help hydrate our skin as well as promote collagen production. Uh, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit onto my hands. And then we just wanna massage this into our skin. The stuff is really fast absorbing and it's not leaving behind any residue, so it's gonna be really good under makeup. Next, I'm gonna go in with moisturizer. Now my skin is pretty hydrated from the Saints Co products already, so I'm just gonna use my light moisturizer by Real You. You guys know I love this. So I'm just going to rub that in. Then for my eye cream, I'm gonna use the Kate Somerville I stuffed that up. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Eye. I have been loving this stuff lately. Apparently she does like a moisturizer version of the Wrinkle Warrior as well that I really wanna try, but Kate Somerville is expensive. So I'll have to wait until I use up a few of my other products before I think about purchasing that one. Then the last skincare product I'm going to use is the Saints Co. Bee Venom Lip Plumper. This is made with 100% pure uh, beeswax, manuka honey, and bee venom. So the bee venom is going to help like plump our lips and give us that like bee stung lip look. And the beeswax and manuka honey are going to moisturize our lips. So I'm just going to put some on my finger and then on my lips. Now let's get into some makeup. So I'm going to start off with my eyes for today's makeup. So I'm gonna quickly prime them with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Just gonna cover up all that discoloration. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the construction outside, by the way. I'm thinking of moving again <laughs> in a few months <laughs> just to try and get away from the construction. Now I'm quickly gonna set that paint pot with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to stop any creasing. Then for eyeshadow, look what I bought. So I'm gonna start off with a shade Musk and I'm gonna take this on a Sigma E40 brush and blend this into my crease as my transition shade. So we just wanna blend that back and forth using windscreen wiper motions. Next up, I'm gonna take Oud. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong and I'm sorry in advance, but it's this color up in the corner here. Also, I realized I forgot to uh, so what palette this is, this is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. And I'm just taking that on a Sigma E25 brush. And I'm gonna use this to add some depth to my crease. Next up, just with the same brush, I'm gonna take Amethyst. I dipped my finger into the eyeshadow by accident. Am I saying that right? Amethyst. And I'm gonna lightly blend this into my crease as well. I've decided I'm gonna go for like a purple look today. So this is just gonna help blend out the other colors into my crease. Next up, I'm switching to a flat shader brush and I'm gonna shake, shake. I'm gonna take the shade Royal and I'm just gonna pack this onto the outer corner of my eye. Ooh, this shade's so pretty. And just blend it 
up into the crease as well. Wow, that shade is really pigmented as well. Now before we continue, I'm going to grab a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend out any harsh bits. Now that everything is nice and blended, I'm going to take a MAC 231 brush, which is just this really small precision brush, and my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going to half cut my crease with this. i got to get real close to the mirror for this. So I'm cutting the first half, and then as I get to the center of my eye, I'm just blending it into the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna wipe off any excess product on that brush onto a tissue then I'm gonna spray my brush with some Mac fix plus and then I'm gonna go in with the shade Twilight isn't it beautiful and I'm gonna put that where I put the Mac soft ochre paint pot and then as I get to the center of my eye I'm just gonna blend it out into the eyeshadow Next up, I'm going to take another flat shader brush and I'm going to go into the shade Desert Sand and I'm just going to use this to highlight my brow bone. Then I'm going to line my top lash line. So to do that, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and just draw on a line. I'm not doing a wing, uh, I'm just lining them so that the fake eyelashes blend in with our real ones. Next up is mascara, so I'm going to take the Benefit Fair Real Mascara and add a coat to my top eyelashes. Ah, and I stab myself in the eye. Don't do that. That is not part of the tutorial. Then for falsies today, I'm going to keep with like the Huda Beauty theme and I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes. So now we can move on to our base. I'm gonna start off with primer, and the primer I'm gonna use is the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. So I'm just going to work this into my skin. Then for foundation, I'm gonna use my favorite, the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I am almost out of this, guys. I have to go buy another one. I'm just going to blend this in all over my skin. Next up, I'm gonna conceal my dark circles and highlight my face using another product I'm almost out of. Why does everything I love run out at the same time? So this is the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium. I cannot live without this product anymore, guys. It has changed my life. So I'm just gonna do the whole triangle thing under my eyes and down the center of my face. Then we just want to blend that out before it dries. Then I'm gonna quickly go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder again, just to set the concealer before it creases. So I'm just patting this on with a Sigma F35 brush. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with the NYX No Filter Powder. Just on a powder brush. This is the shade Honey Beige, if anyone's wondering. Then to bronze up my face a bit, I'm going to go in with the NYX Matte Bronzer, the shade Deep Tan. So I'm just going to apply this around the uh, perimeter of my face. Also using this to uh, contour a little bit as well. Now for blush, I'm going to use the uh, Tarte Exposed Blush. So I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. Then to highlight, I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I love this palette so much. So I'm gonna take the shade Santorini and I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones and down the center of my face as well. I'm also gonna take some on a pencil brush and use it to highlight the very inner corners of my eyes as well. 
So for my lower lash line, I'm going to grab a pencil brush and I'm going to go in with musk that we used as our transition shade. And I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line with this. Then I'm going to mix uh, Oud, that uh, corner shade, and the uh, amethyst, amethyst. And I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner. You know what I feel would look really cool on a lower lash line? This. So this is the Marc Jacobs highliner. What shade are you missed me? And to finish our eyes, we want to add a coat of mascara to our lower lashes. This is the Tarte Lifted Mascara. Now for brows, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with the uh, NARS Brow Defining Cream. I think I'm just gonna skip through this. You guys have seen me do my eyebrows so many times. I even have like two separate videos on them. And uh, brows are on, so now onto our lips. I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with the Bare Minerals Lip Liner in Borderline. Then for lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Lipstick in Crave. Yeah, I'm feeling this is like too pink for this look. I want something more movey. I'm going to find another lipstick. Let's try that again. This one is the Bare Minerals Lipstick, but in the shade Kitty. Yes, this is more the color I was thinking. And this is the finished look. As usual, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also check out my vlog channel. If you guys didn't know, I've got a vlog channel. I will link it now. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.